All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We got a, a little spice here in standard. For those who follow my work, you uh, should be aware that I think the trio of Demir cards in standard are quite good right now. Starting with Thief of Sanity, a card that has been popping up everywhere. I actually saw this card in play in Legacy uh, a few weeks ago at SCG Syracuse. Um, it stole a Grim Monolith and then like a Thought Knot's Ear and then won the game. It was pretty exciting, honestly. Um, Thief of Sanity is a very, very powerful magic card. Uh, Hostage Shaker, of course, one of the better cards in standard as far as removal goes. Hydroid Crisis, you name it, just a very, very powerful card. And of course, Thought Erasure, one of the better answers to Hydroid Crisis. And just a good all-purpose answer to Rekindling Phoenix or Nexus decks. So, trying to find a home for these Demir cards has been tough. But we can take uh, another card that I like from the modern format. I, of course, was on the Bugler side of the uh, Bugler or no Bugler in Humans in Modern, and the Bugler. card that hasn't seen a ton of play in Standard. Obviously, you know, Aether Vile, things like that, but still a very good card. A 2-3 Vigilance for 3 is, like, a pretty significant body. And when it comes into play and draws you a good creature every time, that's pretty awesome, too. So, obviously, affects our deck building. You know, we are playing a number of creatures, but they're all quite good, so... Tithe Taker, a card that has impressed me non-stop. The more I play it, the more I'm impressed. Um, phenomenal against Mono Blue. You play this card against Mono Blue, and their entire deck just feels like it turns off. All their counter spells cost more. Their uh, Siren Storm Tamer costs more. Uh, just fantastic, fantastic card. Uh, good against creature decks, good against control decks. Just great, great card. We got the Boot coming in to uh, clear the way for our better cards. You know, Thief of Sanity, Hostage Taker. Either steal a kill spell or draw one out. Then we got the old Choops. Been uh, outclassed by Haas Taker a little bit lately, but still very, very good. And uh, forms a nice little package here of the two power creatures. Uh, a lot of value, a lot of power, a lot of removal. They all do something. Also, one of the nice things is that a lot of them draw removal out. You know, you have to kill Thieves Entity. And you have to kill Haas Taker. And you have to kill Freebooter. You know, which hopefully leaves room for the next one to do damage and take over the game. And then once they've used all their removal spells, you slam a Leer Dawnbringer and go to town on them. So we got that. Um, nice smattering of remo removal spells here. Uh, cast down one of the better kill spells in the format. Um, if you main deck Duress, I think Duress is very main deckable in this format. Um, it is good against basically every deck. It's obviously great against the control decks and the Nexus decks. It's excellent against Mono Blue because you get to kind of pick apart their plan. And every cards that cost one are what you want against Mono Blue. So very good there. Fine against White Weenie. Uh, they have here History of Benalia, Legion's Landing, Conclave Tribunal. So that's plenty of hits there. Just, I think there's a very main deckable card in this format. So we got our Duresses. We got a Mortify. Um, extra kill spell. Good against Reclamation. And um, we got two Lookouts Dispersal. Kind of a weird one. Um, the Pirates kind of fell flat in their face, despite this card being very, very good. Um, pirates were not just good enough to build around it, but it's a counter spell. We have eight Pirates in our deck between Freebooters and hostage takers, and of course the ways to get them in Bugler. So, at times this will cost three and be a bad absorb, but a lot of times it's just going to be a better mana leak. And it's also a very surprising card, hard to play around, very unexpected out of a deck like this. So, it's the main deck, uh, just every possible duel in Buddy Land. Um, it's 25 lands total, 4, 8, 12, 24, yep. 25 lands, we have a lot to do with our mana, of course, and... Um, Cyborg's got a lot of the, the usual suspects to rest, negate, mortify, contempt. Uh, four Deputy of Attention. Uh, not a main deck card. Uh, pretty bad in a lot of matchups. Um, pretty bad against, like, Reclamation decks. Bad against any red deck. But this is our key tool against Mono White Aggro and Mono Blue Aggro, where it is quite good. And another must-kill threat. So while they're wasting their removal spells on this, hopefully your Thief of Sanity can take over the game. Uh, two Basilica Bell Haunt against Red. And it can come in other spots, too. Two Eldest are born, a uh, good answer to control decks and bigger mid-range decks. And one Immortal Sun, uh, very good against Sultai. It's a powerful card in general. Expensive, but powerful. Deck's pretty fun. We're going to give it a roll. We're going to play some matches in best of three ranked. It's, of course, the traditional play format. Esper Bugler. And we are back in Platinum Tier 4, uh, the ladder reset. Um, and when you reset, you're relegated back down a couple levels. So if you were Mythic, you end up in Platinum 4. If you were Diamond, you end up back in Gold or whatever it is. So let's roll. Playing first. 
and hand looks great. Got the Shrine, Olive Fountain Fortress. Got the Freebooter. Freebooter is very important for clearing the way. Again, we have uh, a lot of cards that are very, very powerful if they stick. Uh, you know, Hostager, Lyra, Thief of Sanity, and Freebooter helps to plow the way for that, which is excellent. We also have our Lookout Dispersal, too. Alright, so they have Retort, Obsession, Essence Capture. Um... Is interesting. So we get to plan out our next few turns here. Um, we have dispersal next turn, then hostage take of a turn after. Um, they have trickster into obsession with retort or capture backup. So I think we're probably gonna need to take just take this curious obsession. Um, yeah. I guess we could just like look at dispersal the trickster, um, but yeah, we can't remove it. We just can't remove a counter spell element. I'm just gonna take the obsession. So we can fight through the counters, but we can't let the uh, obsession start to snowball and go out of control. Another hostage taker is pretty good. All right, we can't attack here because they can. Uh, I mean, we could attack and just counter the trickster. Um, but we kind of want them to counter all of our stuff. Then we just do that. We attack, we counter Trickster, play the Taplands, they go. Then they don't commit to the board. And then they Trickster, and then we Hostage Shaker, return behind. All right, now we're just going to say go. Hmm. Not a good trickster anyway. Playing as a blue deck is so hard. They have two lands, they have two counter spells. Nah, I think, I think I made an error here. Yeah, I should have attacked. We can't let them, we just have to trade, trade our cards and not let them get ahead. The most important thing against the blue decks, I, I missed a point of damage there. I, I'll take that one on the chin. Um, we don't want them to untap with something in play and counter spells. The goal is just to keep them off the board so that they can't use their counter spells proactively. So I missed point of damage. I the, the the thought process was that I wanted to be able to hostage take or something, or at least cast it to have some relevance. But ooh, that's a really good draw. I don't think we uh we need to do we need to do that. Alright, so we're gonna um just play Tight Taker and play Lion and go. They'll have the trickster, but and then we'll start hostage taking stuff. You can also counter it if they want to, which is fine. Pretty happy with them countering a tide taker given the, quant the, quant the quality of our hand. This card's so good against them. Fantastic. So that is excellent for us, given the given the quality of our hand. That is excellent. Okay, so I think we're just saying go. We're like playing a land, saying go. We're not going to cast. They have Trickster into Retort, and I'm not going to cast my Lyra yet, and I'm also not going to cast Hostager into nothing. Um. They only have three mana. We could, we, could, we could like attack and maybe even just give them the freebooter to cast hostage taker, but that's not worth it. So yes, I'd say right now we're in pretty good shape, unless they have an obsession. We hostage taker of a counter, which is fine. Sure. That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, we're gonna bugle. That's great because now this, this is a card that's it's it's a little less powerful than these. They kind of have to counter it almost because it's just card advantage. It deals with the card in play anyway. Yeah, that's great. 
Right. And then I'm not going to attack. I'm just not going to risk the, their last card being Trickster and them running away, running away with the game here. We're very, very ahead. The one damage does not matter. We're going to start casting Hostage. I mean, they have two cards left in hand, and we have three monster plays in our hand. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so let's cast House Taker. Sure. No problem there. Same thing, just not going to attack. Again, I think it's very unlikely they have a Trickster, but the if they do have it, we probably lose. Because they'll be able to... Obsession, draw some cards, and then, then maybe actually chain some counter spells together and beat us. Which is not worth it. We're not winning this game in the damage race front. We're winning it on the, uh, our cards are really good front. It's hard to really parse their hand. They'd probably be playing any threat they draw. So, like, they could have more counters. They've already cast two retorts and a capture. They have a, another land. All right, this is just great. So now we can cast this hostage taker. Excellent. Yeah, now, now the game's mostly over. They have a dive down. Sure. Um, given that, I think I'm happy just casting Cast Down, and then slamming Lyra next turn. I guess the 2-3 just doesn't really matter, but if, it, you know, if, they, if they draw an Obsession, it's kind of annoying. Um, like, we're slamming Lyra next turn. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to cast down this. Um, this just opens the door to us to start attacking, and now we're in a spot where, like, they have no cards in hand. They draw a counterspell. If they draw a card and just say go, we're not going to cast Lyra. And if they draw a creature and play it, we're going to cast Lyra, or they're just going to concede because they're so far behind. That works, too. So, again, a lot of the goal is just trying to keep the board clear for them, so. Alright, so, we're going to bring in our duress, um, four deputy detention, and mortifies him, maybe. We're going to need to cut some of our more expensive cards, and our clunkier cards, um... Thief of Sanity is phenomenal against them. Tide Taker is phenomenal. Chupacabra is a little clunky. Um, honestly, a lot of our cards are good here. Thief is great. I guess Lookout's Dispersal is not great. We're not guaranteed to have a pirate in play, and it's like a we're just trying to fight a counterspell war. I mean, it, it's definitely fine. Um, but I think that our discard spells pave the way good enough where I don't really want to get into a counter war. As that requires having a lot more mana. Trying to use trying to use a two mana counter spell to defend our, our three and four mana threats is very mana intensive. I think I want to ship that. Um, and then Mortify is good. We have Cast Down, Thought Erasure, Duress, Thief. Deputy is quite good. Lyra is really good, but they're going to have some kinds of removal. I almost don't mind shaving a Lyra. Is it Lyra? 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 I think it's Lyra. Or just cut them. And Mortify is also not great. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cut a Lyra on the draw. I'm not exactly sure about this. Uh, it's possible we don't need Mortify, but... Yeah, that's great. Plow the road. Slam our good cards. Mist Cloaked Herald. That's even better. Perfect curve. Actual perfect curve. They have Pierce Retort Opt Trickster. So we're going to take the Spell Pierce so we can resolve our Thought Erasure next turn. Um... Yeah, works for me. 
Take spell pierce. Next turn we're at a thought erasure the retort probably, and then we'll play thief and just go to town. Ideally, they don't find an obsession on the top of their deck or off their opt, but. Works for me. This is the curve you sign up for when you're when you sign up for this deck. This is what you want. Just discard spell, discard spell, super threat, super threat. All right, so they are opting in response to thought erasure, which is actually pretty good for us. So now we get an even double retort trickster. All right, that's kind of annoying. Um, we'll take a retort. I want to resolve either Hostigger or Thief of Sanity, so... And the Trickster's not in play yet, they need to leave mana up for Retort, so we'll take a Retort. Cast down, that's pretty good. So, I think we just play Thief here into the Counterspell, and then we can resolve Hostigger for turn after. Thief is really, really good, but we don't really have a way to push it through, so... I also don't want them to cast this uh, this trickster, so hopefully this card is an essence capture. Let's think. All right. I'd say have two cards. I think I'm pretty happy casting House of Shaker here. There, it's unlikely unlock to be a counter spell. The 2 3 blocks the 2 2, takes the 1 1. Just like pretty good all around. Not an amazing hot sticker, but dive down is fine. So now they have effectively nothing. Alright, so that was the actual worst case scenario that they drew obsession there. Now if they draw another counter spell, I guess they've, they've run, they've run a run at us and that's just life. But. I almost was going to say that the only thing that could happen bad here is them casting and then drawing obsession, but. Tithaker is also a good draw, so. Right. I mean, if they drew a dive down or something, I guess we're in trouble, but I guess we can say go. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this on their upkeep. I don't mind taking two off this thingy. So, that works for me. Hopefully, I don't draw another obsession. I would think. Cool. All right. So now we're pretty well set up. We got to draw a spell. That's that's definitely true. But all right. So we if we attack here and they have a trickster, we lose our tight taker to no value. But I think it's fine. We do need to draw a spell. We are we are definitely favored. Of the, you know, we're, we're pretty ahead at the moment, but um, you know we need to draw some, something else to do. The two one and two. We've put ourselves in a good position, but we are not closing the game yet. I think again, no obsession and we're fine. <laughs> All right, that's a spell. Yeah, we're looking more for another trickster. All right. I mean, just play the one, I think. I guess you draw like a bugler when I play a four drop. Alright, I mean, we are at seven. Terramander was a very good draw. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was a really, really good draw. All right. All right, got to draw a spell here. That's a spell. Uh, I'm not sure why they chose to do it like that. I mean, now they're just... I guess the Storm Timber's kind of off anyway. Oh, that's true, and then these things are also taxing. See, Tide Taker's great. It's taxing, there's taxing Storm Timber, taxing Terramander, forcing them to main phase it, so now we can cast his Deputy. Um, we have to hit the uh, Terramander. And we'll just keep playing. We're not really in any huge rush here. All of our cards are a lot more powerful than theirs, so we'll just draw some good ones. Bottom is good. Sure. Your heart o'clock. Hmm. Let me attack with. Maybe just got one of these. Maybe I should attack with one of these last turn. We gotta make some sort of forward progress here. Hello. Alright, so that's good. Um, they're gonna sack the Storm Tamer, at least it kills it. It's like a Ravenous Chupacabra, basically. So they can just, they can just use the Storm Tamer to counter this ability. And, uh,. Yeah, it just turns into a Chupacabra, which is fine. And then I think we're pretty uh, pretty good attacking here. I actually want to make some moves. Eh, they have like a... Trans... Yeah, let's make some moves. If they have someone to steal something, it gets to get in. Yeah, it's still like... Pretty bad for them. The fourth trickster would be really bad, but I don't think we really afford to play around that. We do want to close this game out. If they just draw Tempest in, Tempest in, and we draw Land Land, we try to die, so we do want to try and close it out. I mean, one, one Tempest in ends the game, so now that we're at four. Don't do it. Where my bugler's at? I want to sound the, sound the horn of Gondor here. Curious obsession. Slyron Stormjammer. It's, I mean, I, I guess. I feel like I would have just waited a turn and put it on the Stormjammer, maybe? Mm. Like, it's fine, you know? It's not too bad. Oh, Thief of Sanity. That's pretty good. All right, um, now we just attack with Thief is excellent, of course. Still want to try and lessen the impact of a Tempest Jin top deck. I think our Tide Thinker just get in. It's possible the Hot Taker can get in too. That just forces at least one block. Actually, yeah, I like that. We attack like this, they have to block something. They can double block the hostage taker, we trade off. And we have multiple blockers in their dead next turn. Yeah, I like that. Sure. So there are two. Now we have two blockers to their two attackers. And even if they have a Tempest in, I guess we don't have lethal next turn. We have the Tempest in, but. Yeah. Alright. Alright, well, that's, that's good. Alright, so. No lethal, but we have lethal next turn and a blocker for the Tempest. I mean, two blockers now, so now we're at like a, basically a standstill. But there are two, so this card's got to be good.
suppose something like Entrancing Melody would be really good. It's Tempest in Attacks. We are just going to... Could double block. That gets blown out by Dive Down. Um, I think we just single block. And then we have we have Lethal on the backswing. They drew like another Tempest in. I think we're dead. Unless we draw something good, but I think double blocking is crazy. Well, that makes things easier. Unless they do the fourth trickster, that would suck. All right, cool. It's like a pretty good matchup. We have a lot of great tools against them. All of our discard spells are great. Our type takers are great. All of our haymakers are great. Okay. Upon Mulligan's the six, we can keep this on the draw. We have to be able to draw one land. We have 25 lands in our deck, and we have a great curve of booter into thief, thief, uh, good mana to draw any land. We can keep this. Okay. I'd say mono white isn't easy. Tight digger. It's not a land, but it's fine. Your booter can at least take a, a history on curve, which is good. Pinchy McStingbutt. For those who are unaware, the Scorpion's name is Pinchy McStingbutt, I believe, as chosen by the community. Tight Thick are also quite good here against the army of, of one Douglas creatures. Alright, we drew our land. Excellent. So, we're just going to play Freebooter. There's also a chance that it just misses, but it could just block the body art anyway, so. Bugler is also great. Deep of Sanity is great. Yes, they have Venerate locks it on, Bodyguard. So they get to go land. Right, they have a pretty good hand here. They can go land, Bodyguard, locks it on, right? Yeah, so that's pretty good. But we have Thief of Sanity, which is exceptionally good against them. They are attacking. Okay. Uh, no blocks. They draw history. That's pretty peculiar. Like, the play I said seems really good. Just bodyguard, locks it on, put a bunch of power in play. But, alright. And we're going to start thieving immediately. Thief is great against them because you can just kind of cast a crappy one drop every turn. Just pull a one drop, cast it. Pull a one drop, cast it. So you can keep playing your plan while putting a, a chump blocker in play like every turn. Sort of like a weird token maker. We do want to draw lands, though. Um, drawing lands is definitely important, because we need to be able to deploy the spells from Thief as well as the spells from our hand. All right, it locks it on. is so good. What a magic card. Nope, they drew a Tribunal. That's a good draw. Okay. I mean, I'm very happy to make this block. Given City's Blessing and the Venerated locks it on, that's a pretty weird attack. Ugh, didn't draw land. Brutal. Alright, well, three, four, taking five next turn. Let's try it again. There's a reason we're playing 25 lands. Making land drops is important. Alright, so... Yep, now they only have nine permanents. I mean, if they kept the, the bodyguard around, they would have City's Blessing, too. But, okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what turns up here. Tithe Taker, Adanto Vanguard, Planes. So it's almost surely Tithe Taker. Um... 
You got hostage taker Veloxidon. That puts them pretty far from the other. That puts them two cards from City's Blessing. So they have to draw a a card that is two permanents, either History or Legion's Landing, to get City's Blessing. Um, we get a shock for it. We'll, we'll, we're certainly taking a hit if we do that. But. So the worst case scenario, they play like Legion's Landing is at four, five, six, seven. They attack for nine. We go to one. Then on untap, it might actually be able to stabilize. Other options are just cast Tithe Takers and make some blocks, try to set up for next turn. Uh, Bugler is not great. Second, second Thief Insanities 2 is not, is not really good either. All right, we're going to do that. I'm going to just hope that they don't draw two permanents in one card. I mean, we take a one drop, we can cast it next turn also, but taking the 4-4 right now is just the biggest impact on the board. And like, we can also just cast Loxodon too. Like, convoking out a Loxodon is pretty sweet off Hostage Shaker. Alright, sweet. So, no blocks. Cool. Alright, so, definitely it's back again. Steal your sanity. All right, aspirant. I guess bodyguards. No, I, as aspirant, um, the fear is a flyer. They draw their own aspirant. I guess we have an, another thief of sanity in our hand. I'll just take the bodyguard. All right, and now we can play just tithe taker, tithe taker. That feels pretty good. I could leave up look lookouts dispersal, but it's not countering much, honestly. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. I guess dispersal was countering that, but it's fine. Cast down's pretty good too. All right, we'll send with the thief again. Cast down's pretty great. Deep is just so good. Like, what a pleasant feeling it is to just cast a card off, right, sucks. off the top of their deck, like, every time. Um, Alright, so now we have... Bugler cast down? Yeah. I think that's fair. Playing... We could leave up... We could play one drop, leave up cast down and dispersal. Again, dispersal is not countering much. Um, and it might just be wasted mana, or we could bugler cast down, yeah, or we could just thief. But I think we probably need to make some blocks this turn. Bugler, because bugler isn't really blocking much, honestly. Make some chumps. It's like a double team with the yeah. That's fine. All right. This is not paired with anything. Another hostage taker is pretty good. This is fun. Feeling pretty safe here. Alright, so we're going to double up on here. Chump block this. Chump block this. Maybe I should have cast this cast out before blockers. But I'm sure if they had the indestructible card, they would have just cast it before damage or before combat. So, um, maybe we actually want to steal. Nah, maybe actually, yeah, maybe we actually want to steal the stub a dub. Maybe that's our hostage taker target. Um, because I I can't hostage taker the dodge the bodyguard. They'll just sacrifice it. Yeah, actually, we're gonna just we're gonna kill the bodyguard. And, yeah. Okay, I like this. Yeah. 
fine. Sure. Like, just so much to fight through, you know? Alright. Uh, we bring in all four deputies. We bring in... Duress is not great here. We're going to cut those. Honestly, the Thought Erasure is not great either. This discard spell just aren't very good. The Freebooters also aren't great, but I think they're, like, okay. Uh, look at Spursal can go. Um, I don't mind cutting another Thought Erasure, too. I think it's the Booter's fine. The Booter also just, like, clears the way. You know, like, just hitting a History or whatever is good. And then, worst case scenario, it just blocks Savannah, Savannah line. Which is fun. Still like a bell haunt's not great. Mortify's pretty good. Contempt is eh, I mean contempt is good against a Johnny if they bring in a Johnny, but I think we're okay against a Johnny. Contempt is pretty mediocre otherwise. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Bell haunt's okay, but I don't think it's like that important. Yeah, sounds great. Getting better. Thief of Sanity. Discard into Thief of Sanity. That's our plan. Sky March for sure. Mm -hmm. Tithe Taker. Alright. This is a pretty, pretty thought erasure here. Hopefully we'll take whatever payoff card they have. As far as like Loxodon or some sort of like way to pump these things up. Baffling End, Tribunal, Hollow Fountain. Okay. Um, I think we just take the Baffling End. Because it is just more, like the Tribunal is much harder to cast. requires a lot more work. Yeah, take the Baffling End. Actually, Mortify is a surprise 3-3, three, three, which is pretty good with Baffling End. Um... I don't think that's even really that pertinent. Yeah, I'll just take the babbling end. Deputy of Attention. That is pretty good. Alright, I think we were interested. I mean, I do kind of want to just draw lands, but... We play Thief, they Tribunal it. We play Deputy, take their 2-2-1s. Take their two yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We're starting to take some hits here, but... Alright. So, I mean, we're going to Thief. They're going to bat or Tribunal, and then we're going to Deputy. If they draw a good card this turn, we're probably in trouble. Ideally, we draw a land next turn. Also, I mean, well, a land over the next two turns. So we can go Deputy and then into Tight Down Cast Taker. Cast Down Tight Taker. Wow, that was really good. All right, they drew Unbreakable Formation for exactly lethal, so we have to block. That is awful for us. And they still have a Tribunal in their hand? Yeah, that's really bad. All right, I mean, their hand was pretty quick. I don't know if we uh, could do much here. Yeah, that was a really good draw. All right, we're pretty dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, triple one drop on the draw is tough. If they'd only had one removal spell, we'd be... Actually, we'd still be pretty bad, but... Eh, that's fun. They got the player fine that game, too. So, I mean, their they're best hands on the play are probably just going to beat us. You know, we aren't, we aren't playing sort of, like, mass removal. Um, but... It's possible we might want those dresses back in, actually. Now they have baffling and tribunal and history, and like just had, guess, like casting a spell in the early game is really important. Being able to double spell because they have so many cheap cards, I can see maybe wanting to rest back in, like two of them, but okay, let's go first. <sighs> I don't think we can keep this hand. This hand is entirely reliant on drawing a third land in a two-turn window. 
And if we don't, we're going to die a horrible death. Um, yeah. I just don't think, don't think, don't think, this is like, we also have the shock on turn two. Like, on the draw, like, maybe this is okay, but we have to draw a land in literally our first two draw steps. And if we miss, we're just, we're just dead. Tide Taker's good. Freebooter's fine. Ugh. We're also like, there's no thief, there's no hostage taker. None of our really big payoffs are present. Um, this is this is this is close. This is definitely really close. But I think we're we're gonna mulligan. Sure, that's not much better. But now we're scrying, and we're obviously on on six, and we have the the surveil too. All right, we're going to bottom that. We should need lands. It's pretty good. All right, we're going to Thought Erasure now. Try and set up a third land and clear a path for Thief. They have Unbreakable and a bunch of creatures. So I think we're going to take the Unbreakable. Just play Thief next turn and then just try and put a bunch of bodies in the way. Um, their hand isn't too quick, so... Right, gotta go in the graveyard, you draw land. Tithenaker next turn isn't the end of the world, just blocking two ones and making one-one flyers is pretty good, but... Alright. Land, please. Damn it. I guess we are a little light on answers to Adanto Vanguard, too, honestly. Alright, you know, Carl, we need our sideboard. I just thought of. Ugh, I'm drawing lands would be good, too, but we need Fungal Infection. That's the card we're looking for. Fungal Infection, obviously, would just be phenomenal here, and that's the kind of cheap card you want in a matchup like this. I think Fungal Infection is the card. I mean, we're, we're just super dead here. <sighs> Three, six, seven, eight. Cast on doesn't even have a good targets because how they did their stuff. The thingy. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're just super dead. Mm. Alright, I mean, that kind of stinks, but I think we're, we are a little soft to white. I think that, like, two fungal infection in the board would be phenomenal. Um, I also said it wasn't a very fun game, but... That game too was pretty, uh, pretty tough. You know, whereas a card like Fungal Infection would buy, would be the cheap answer we need to buy the time that we need to get our stuff going. I think, uh, yeah, two Fungal Infection on the board for sure, at least two. That seems like the perfect. It's also good against against the the blue deck too. Honestly, Fungal Infection was a card that I played in my black white uh, best of one Orzob deck in the main deck actually. It's best of one, but um, just powerful card. Hands are great. Woodland Cemetery tapped. We're about to give him to boot another Woodland Cemetery in Lana Rovar. The old Cemetery Cemetery Lana off draw, sure. Alright, give him the boot. Find Krasis Zangana, Carnage Tyrant, Branch Walker. Uh, all right, no, no. so they better hope that Branch Walker finds them a uh, finds them a land. It did not. So we about to go Thief at Sanity time.
What are you about to cast? Yo, cards. Not Pedro Land. Eh, that's pretty good. Whatever, you cast down. Probably Crisis for two. Try and block our thief. We just steal it. Or kill it, I mean. That was also quite good. Alright, so let's cast down this, uh... Able dual lands anyway, yeah, okay. Cast down... And get the Thief of Sanity train rolling. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Lanarov seems fine. We're definitely in the market for mana, so... Uh, we're gonna Thought Erasure. Yeah, good Thought Erasure. Hoss Taker's a Ghana Carnage Tyrant. They drew a land too, so their Carnage Tyrant is coming, but... And then our own Hostage Taker? Uh, I could buy that. Sure. Take, take their 4-4. Four, four. Start building a board against this Carnage Tyrant. Sure. Incubation Druid, Jade Light. We could also like Hoss Taker their Lana Elf and just buy a turn against the uh, against Carnage Tyrant. Um, that might actually be better. I think I want the Jade Light. We take a lot of damage if we do that, though. Um. Because the 4-4 four, four will hit us. Hostager can block the 3-2, but... Yeah, actually, I think I like that. This just gives us more mana for next turn. Um, we need to find an answer to the Zagana, but... Hit six mana, it can be an 8 8 trample. Alright, Jade Light's tough. Vivian. Don't think they want that, they just need lands. Growth Chamber Guardian. Alright, so no lands again, which is good. Easy block. We are at five. We are like, you know, on the edge here a little bit, but. I do have a land. All right, well, not cast down as a list of legendary creature. Okay, well, we need to answer this Zagana. Cast down does not answer it. It's 8-8 eight, eight, trample, this thing we have trample too. What do we got here? How about Hostage Shaker? That's a good one. All right, so now we just Hostage Shaker. We have... Yeah, we've cast down too. It's pretty good. Do I shock and play another Lanor Elf? Uh, I think I do. Yeah, Hostage Shaker. Steal this. And I think I just, yeah, I just shock. I'm just gonna cast this down right now, just in case. I don't. I don't know if they have like counter spells or something. Let's just do it now. You go to seven. Play Carnage Tyrant. Are they dead on board? No. Close, but no. All right. So we just attack in the air. Play a bunch of blockers, and they draw finality. We're dead. But what are you gonna do? I don't think we can really do anything against that. Just put some dead next turn. Hadana's Climb, Incubation Druid. Hadana's Climb is cute. We don't have any, I wish we do have green mana because we have the Atlanta Royals. Hmm. That guarantees a kill next turn. I can, now I can Jade Light and then Zagana. Do 
Duress, Graveyard, Lyra. I think just Graveyard. I mean, the game's gonna end next turn anyway, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, but. Alright, Zagana. Alright, so no finality and we're fine. Cool. They had finality, they could kill, kill our stuff and then attack for three and kill us. Which would suck. Or more than three, but. Alright, cool. Good one there. I enjoyed that game. We're gonna bring in the Immortal Sun. I think we're in the market for Eldest Reborn. I think we don't want these duresses. Um, I don't think I want we want these lookouts dispersals either, especially in the draw. I think we're interested in reborns. Contempt is like I mean, just kill Vivian. Vivian's obviously pretty good against us. Dispersal might actually be fine. Um, Elder Reborn is obviously a little weird against like their Lanner Rolls and stuff, but I think it's just a kind of powerful effect we want in a matchup like this. Um, they also have Carnage Tyrant, and like it's not that hard to like, as you saw in that game, clear the board, clean things up, and get the Elder Reborn going. Um, I suppose Mortifies and the Freebooters are okay. They're not like amazing. We could shave like two freebooters. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Two freebooters, two contempts. I think on the play we'll want the dispersals maybe, but we tap out a lot. I don't think we need counter magic. We're more of like a slam stuff kind of deck. I think I'm happy with this. Suppose we're a little light on ways to push through thief. You know, we're, we're cutting down on our discard effects, so we're not going to have as many ways to clear the way for Thief, but they don't have much removal anyway because they're playing, like, Adonis Climb and all this crap, so... They could have, like, the 3-2 uh, Harpooners, which would be annoying, but... Duress and Freebooter can't take those anyway, so... Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I got a bottom mat. Just need some lands. It's a little tough here. Mulligan against Lander Elves in the, the play. Lander Elves in the play is so good. Sure. Alright, we're going to Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure also helps try, try to help us find our third land here, which we're having trouble doing. Hostage Taker, Incubation Druid, find. So, annoying because, like... We have to take find here, we take creature to get it back, so they have a lot of mana on turn three here. But Eldritch are born again. Mm. Screw versus Flood. Battle is old this time itself. You know, they have to like evolve here. This is pretty good. Mm, we drew the land. Um I mean we we bugler here. We could just hmm. we could just cast down the incubation druid. It kind of sucks mana wise, but if we we bugler, they probably hostage take her and then cast their own bugler, which is kind of bad. Um, Tithe taker doesn't really do anything. This is a huge. This is like three. I guess the black lotus worth of mana. Yeah, it makes it too easy for them to cast. To hostage taker and cast the card they steal in the same turn. I draw crisis, the game is over. Like. Okay. Okay, so now. Now I think we bugle. Because they can't. They can't play or steal it and cast it. And. Yeah. Ta -da! We gotta answer this thing, but it's a lot of mana. That's a good thing to do with a lot of mana. All right. 
Well, they have infinite four force. We have another bugler. Fortunately, we just like can't really. Ugh. Yeah. Also for that hostage taker, I think it'd be fine, you know? All of us mana, they can just take or cast whatever we play. So like, but if we, if we, now we can't sit here because they have a growth chamber guardian also. So they have like infinite threats to use their mana with, and then they have an answer to our threat. Um, if I hostage taker something, they just hostage taker my hostage taker and hostage taker something. Play thief, they just hostage taker it and play it. Then I can hostage taker it back. But I'm then I'm really behind on mana. That might actually be fine though. We just play thief, let them steal it, then we steal it back. That requires two turns though, so we have to like steal it back and then cast it. But I think that's actually fine. Let's make them use their mana so it's not Roach Hammer Guardian. I guess I should have attacked. That's fine. Okay, let's see Definitely had a distinct mana disadvantage here, obviously. We also need to act because if they draw Hydra Crisis at any point, we just lose. Because they have, like, you know, 14 mana in play, so. They're manually tapping. No, they're not. Sleepy Panda. It is certainly unfortunate that they could do that all in one turn. We have to break it up over multiple turns, but this is the life we're currently living, so. I'll take that back, thank you. Well, okay, they drew, they, they drew the perfect card and now we're dead, so. Uh, that card was the perfect card to foil our strategy and now we lose to our, our Thief of Sanity, so we're gonna go to the next game. Unfortunate, but Dems the brakes. Run that back. Um, I think we're. F I mean, look at dispersal might be okay in the play, but we're, we cut some pirates though, so it's, not, it's gonna be not gonna be mana leak often enough. Um, I think we're fine just like this. That was pretty good. We missed the land drop. We just fell too far behind. I think our line was very good to get as a way to get out of it, but they had the card to punish us. That was perfect. So. All right, hands. This is this is it. This is the curve. Two, three, four. That's what we want. And no Lanor elves. Man, what a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh yeah, this is great. Um, yeah. Take the druid. They have lands, jade light, crisis, and no answer to. Our thief of sanity. So they have about two turns to draw an answer. Alright. Land crisis. So I imagine they'll bend the crisis so we don't steal it. Alright. Get to work. Grow Chamber Guardian, Llanowar Elves. I mean, obviously, Grow Chamber Guardian is only a Grizzly Bear. Which isn't the worst at the moment, honestly, but... Um, I think I like Llanowar Elves here. Tithaker Llanowar Elves is a fine turn. Then we have Chupacabra to plow through a Flyer Blocker next turn. We keep give Hostage Taker also for Krasis. I guessing Lyra isn't out of the question either, sure. Let's 
It's a pretty easy block. Alright, so yeah, we hostage taker the right, let's um tap our eh, we're not, not going to cast any spells from their deck probably. They have a lot of twos actually. Yeah, we'll 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 tap the thing. It's not worth one damage. So they have four lands and two spells. We take this. Now they have to kill my taker and my thief. So they are in a they're in a in a, a four cure. For those who play a chess, I think it's what it's called in chess. Zagana cast down. I think I like cast down. Yeah, we'll leave cast down up. Next time we can we can cast their crisis. Life's pretty good here. That's very good. Nice cast down. Our promoter is quite good. It's good against us in general. Harpooner could be an argument for just not playing Lyra, because Lyra is soft to Harpooner, and a few cards like that in the format. Alright, so we're going to attack with everything but Lanor Elves. Another Lanor Elves. Right. Cast this bad boy for four. Or if they have a finality, it's a little annoying. We're going to draw cards anyway, so it's fine. I guess we could cast a, a Lyra here. It plays around finality. But yeah, I don't I don't want to lose their, the, the opportunity to cast their crisis, so. Hmm. So like worst case scenario, they have finality here. And then we just like keep playing magic because our hand is great and their hand is a bunch of lands. Sure. Okay. Immortal Sun. That's kinda guess. Um We could just slam Lyra. But if his last card is like a Vivian or or something good, I think I wanted to see what it is. I think we're gonna freebooter, Tithe Taker, Lanor Elf. All right, just the land. So they have flooded a bit this game for sure. Okay, I have great interest in slamming the Immortal Sun here. Turns off uh, Vivian Reed. If they have Hostage Taker, we can just kill it. And now we're drawing two cards a turn, yada yada yada, sure. Well, 11 power is a lot, but so that, free, that Freebooter is really dead. And now they are really dead. Hmm. Lyra. Works for me. Coming in. Sweet. I think this deck is pretty well pretty well suited to beat the uh the Salt Eye decks. All the Demir cards are very good against Salt Eye. Money, rich, ah, booster packs, cards. Cult Guild Mage. Oh, he's playing with a Mega Man doll. Two and one. I think our one loss can be fixed with better sideboarding. Or a better sideboard. Um, and maybe we're going a little too hard on Deputy of Detention, because we just have too many threes in our deck. So spreading out our mana curve would be a little a little uh, better. Yes, the Demir cards are very, very good. We're gonna skip on that. We're looking for a payoff here. Freebooter is here to protect our good cards, and we don't have any good cards yet. That's a good one. Uh, yep. Rakdos Guildgate. Typically, decks like ours are good against the red mid red mid rangey decks. Although the card Shock is actually pretty good against us. Let's see what's up. The Bugler should be very very good here. All right, they have Eldritchborn Shock, Lava Coil, Carnival, Siege Gang. Um, Eldest Reborn, probably the scariest card, although Siege Gang is very good. Um, yeah. 
I think Eldritch Born is scarier. Damn it. Well, if I had known that... <laughs> um... I mean, we're casting our Bugler next turn anyway. I don't think this Duress really matters. They're probably going to Blightning us with the uh, Carnage. Make us discard two cards, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, we should have been this. The card Rick and Link Phoenix seems pretty good against us, but... Alright, yeah, let's cast the Bugler here. Yo, two for one, hopefully. Don't miss here. Bugler, we really need you not to miss here. This is an important one. <laughs> that is not a miss. Um, Alright, so they have Shock Lava Coil in their hand. So, Thief of Sanity is uh, not looking super safe here. Let's take Tithe Digger again for the guaranteed card advantage. You know, if they're playing a bunch of one-for-one -one remo removal spells, us playing a bunch of two-for-one creatures is quite good. So they blighting us here. We, uh... No, they lava coil. Okay. That's interesting. Swamp. Alright. Hmm. I'm pretty fine just Tithe Takering. We're trying to set up Lyra, obviously. Um, we're going to play the Untapped Lands. We can cast down something if we have to. Just discard the Godless Shrine and the Swamp to the Carnage, if that's what they want to do. Sure. I mean, it's more than fine with that. These doubling up on spells like Shock and Lava Coil is one of their ways to kill Lyra, so this feels pretty cool, but they're not doing that. Right, we're going to pitch both of our lands here. We would like to cast Lyra next turn, but I'm not going to take discard a spell in a spot like this. If we draw a spell next turn, we're happy. If we draw a land next turn, we're happy, so it's a good place, good place to be. Cool. Alright, Lyra, go do your job. Aren't a ton of single cards that kill Lyra in the black red deck. They usually have to double up on it. Dire Fleet Daredevil. That's pretty good. This card's really good against us. It's fine though. They thought our Rishar cast down. We still have our Lyra. They don't seem to have much else. Then of course, you know, we have a million great draws here. I think Hostage Taker might be the best of them, but they've been the Angrath. Wow. Alright, Strong Line kind of sucks, but. It's fine. Um, do we just play the land? Because if they make us discard it, yeah, I'm just gonna play the land. No tricks here. Like, let's have let's not lose it to a discard. So if we draw a hostage taker, we can just cast this thing immediately. All right, Siege Gang. So Siege Gang can kill Lyra with six mana and three goblins. That is another land. All right. Well. Probably need to draw a spell at some point soon. I'm gonna play the lava coil, it sucks. I don't know, I might have a shock. And Lyra's obviously dead here, so that's bad. Drawing a spell would be good. That's a spell. A chupaca. Alright, so we're definitely behind here. I mean, if they have two cards, star zero, we're like slightly ahead on board given their life total. So our spirit is plucking away here, but they have all spells in their hand, which is bad. 
So, again, a lot of big draws, though. You know, a large portion of our deck is live. Yeah, that's bad. Come on. All right, now we're in pretty big trouble. He discarded two lands, too. That sucks. Um, I mean, they're just going to kill this with Siege Gang anyway. Ugh. Almost had enough mana to Hostage Taker Siege Gang. They'll obviously sacrifice it in response, but... Yeah, I mean, they sack a token, kill my Chupacabra, attack for 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and now we're, like, dead next turn. CJ Hang is really good. <sighs> Take a look, and we'll concede. All right, I kind of stunk. I mean. A lot of that game was honestly the fact that they drew 5 lands and we drew 10 lands because they had more spells than us, which kind of sucks. They're probably playing about a similar land count to us. But the card Sea Chain Commander is definitely very good against us. Um, we're going to want a Mortal Sun. I mean, honestly, a lot of our cards seem good. Belhaun seems good. Eldritch Reborn seems... I think, it seems, I think it's the kind of card we want in this matchup. It could be not great, but Contempt is good. Um, we're going to want to... I think Lookout Dispersal is actually good. His countering Siege Gang is important. I don't think Mortify is that good. Um, Chupacabra is also kind of like, it's fine. We can't cut down on our Bugler hits too much. The rest is also like fine, but we already have Thought Erasure and Freebooter. Yeah, I think we don't want Duress. I want our top decks to be better also. Unfortunately, Thief of Sanity is not great here because they have shocks and stuff. Um, hmm. I like Chupacabras and Freebooters. Chupacabra kills like... Kills some stuff. I guess it's a decent answer to Siege Gang. You just kill the Siege Gang and then blocks the 1-1s. One um... But I guess Tithe Taker is like kind of medium. Uh, it is two for one, but it doesn't really line up well against your stuff. They probably have Chain Lore in the deck too. Yeah, well, let's cut some Tithe Takers, I guess. Let me just cut all of them. Not exactly sure about this, but. Alright, let's see what we got here. I mean... Ugh. We need to draw a third land, but we have our Freebooter into Thief draw. The problem is Thief just isn't that good against them. They just have a lot of redundant shock effects. I'm gonna keep... I feel like having seven cards is really important. It's gonna be a grindy game. Having all access to all of our cards is important. All right, cool. So, give them the boot. They have Eldritch Born and a bunch of creatures. Direfleet Daredevil is good. Actually, it doesn't even like it. Never mind. This is a not a thought erasure. All right, they have a bunch of creatures. So, it looks like Thief is actually pretty live, which is surprising, but good. Rick's Maddie, sure. Scarring a land, sure. I mean, they probably drew land, land. Alright. We get this thief in, I'm feeling pretty good.
The suspense. I feel like it's getting in. I mean, here we go. They didn't cast their Chain Whirler, which is a little weird. Alright, sweet. We do need lands, unfortunately, but... Alright, Shock Phoenix. Hmm. Well, I think we're just taking the Shock here. I want the cheap, cheap stuff. Play the Thief. Play Phoenix next turn, things get a little awkward, but with six, with five mana, we can Chupacabra shock the Phoenix and the Egg, which is cool. No land, no land, no land, no land, no land. Obviously, they have a land. Uh, are we playing status? No, we're not. That's great. That's wonderful. I think that, like, that's... I'm very happy they did that instead of Phoenix. This is great. I have cast down Shock for the Phoenix, dude. This is awesome. Everything's good. Life is good. Don't worry. I'll be happy. Fight with fire. Um, I mean, our only options are to cast Boot or cast down or Fight with Fire. I'm just going to Fight with Fire this, uh, this, this Goblin Chain Roller here. We need to draw some lands, but I think we're in pretty good shape here, so I can't complain too much. We also have not put a kill spell in our graveyard yet, so their Dire Fleet's not good. Um, which will have to happen eventually, unfortunately. Because next turn we're going to have to cast down Shock the Phoenix, but... Well, at least we've gotten a few hits in with our Thief, and we're ahead on cards, so... Screw usually beats Flood, so I'm pretty happy to be, be in the Screw side of this scenario. God, we just can't draw. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Uh we can't not kill the Phoenix here. Thought Erasure is a little appealing to steal their Dire Fleet Daredevil, but we can't. We're also at 10, so yeah, we're just going to have to cast down. Cast down Shock. Now they get to Snapcaster cat the cast down, but we'll take our extra, our, our, our another Thief hit here. So now we're just flush with cards. Lava Coil. Lava Coil's pretty good. Daredevil's pretty good too, actually. Um, they're, they're gonna have a shock in their graveyard. I like Daredevil. Uh, the Coil does answer the next Phoenix. All right, I think I like the Coil. The card, the card advantage of Devil is like cool and all, but we're flush with cards. We just have the right answer to Phoenix when we need it. Alright, so they get to cast down my Thief of Sanity. And they could kill the Booter, but... Alright, sure. We do need to draw some castable spells here. We are we are still mana screwed, despite, how this, despite this game going pretty well for us. Okay. There she is. Um... Maybe just choop. This freebooter dies, things get a little harder, but Siege Gang would also be bad, but Yeah. So like Elders Reborn, Siege Gang are bad here. I think we can handle most other stuff. Carnage, sure. Discard Thought Erasure, Freebooter. Don't want those cards anyway. Sweet. The Horn of Gondor. Sweet. I should have held that land. Uh, if they draw another discard two, we're gonna feel really stupid. 
I want to keep developing my, my mana base for my buglers, but I think that the the blow up potential is too high. That's devastatingly bad for us. Uh, all right, this game has got really hard. All right. Now they get the Eldest Reborn us. This is good. They're going to shoot. This is actually pretty good for us. They're going to block and shoot. So we get to exile their CGN commander. Could be worse. They're at six, so this makes sense. Alright, so we're gonna bugle her first in case we draw. See, I guess Freebird doesn't matter. We're gonna just bugle her first anyway. We are we are we are chaining here. Alright, so we gotta use the lava coil. They have an Elder Born. But it's six to three. We have double bugler and immortal sun. We're in quite the game state here. They are at six. We have lots of buglers. If I draw a land next, land next turn. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm, I'm gonna take S buglers. I think I think the immortal sun is off the menu. Um, I think we're gonna cast multiple buglers. Probably even to discard the Immortal Son to the Eldest Reborn, just try and kill them. We need to kill them now before this thing gets back. Gets back something nasty. Um, let's open on an attack. No three drop affects the yeah, board. They are at six, so I think just playing the creatures is the best thing we can do. They're going to chump, sure. I don't think I really want that. Uh, now, now I'm going to discard that to the... We'll play Immortal Sun next turn. Oh, that's good. That is good. I think we're in good shape now. Oh, yeah. So what, what can they get back? They can get back a Phoenix, a Chain Whirler, a Chupacabra. Yeah, getting putting the siege, the siege gang in exile was actually huge. All right, yeah, we're gonna play this. I mean, they're also just dead on board at the moment, so hopefully this just kills them. Looks like it's going to. Bugler too strong. Definitely a good bugler matchup here. Just the grind is just so good. All right, game three coming up. Yeah, I don't think I want duress. It's not like I want. I don't want. I don't want the tithe takers either. Honestly, like the tithe takers, just I just don't think they have enough an effect on the board, and they just like it get mucked up in the whole goblin chain whirler problem. I like. I like how we're boarded here. We just have all the top end stuff for the most part. Um, I could see maybe a negate, but dispersal is kind of our negate proxy, and now we're on the draw too, so. I think they just like, honestly, three mana mana league is actually fine in this matchup because countering Siege Gang and Eldritch Reborn is so important. Like, countering counters counters are the only real clean way to deal with those two cards. In the sideboard tank, going back to the well here. What are they doing? Making some big changes. The vicinity is so good. All right. Looks good to me. The bugler. The bugler. Alright. Definitely thought erasure over freebooter. 
That's a hand. Siege Gang, Angrath, Chain Whirler. Uh, I mean, Angrath is good, but Siege Gang is better. We could also freeboot the Angrath at some point. Yeah, we'll take taking Siege Gang here. Hostage Taker. Yeah, I can go on top. I like that. Playing Tapland, not playing Chain Whirler. Interesting. Right, yeah, pretty happy just to slam Bugler here. Get the get the chain rolling. Sound the Horde of Gondor. Whiskey. Alright, that's pretty bad. Whiffing is not good. Sure. Contempt is actually really nice. Alright, so I kinda like um hostage shakering here. It forces them to not play Angrath this turn. Because they have to answer the Hostage Taker. I cast Chain Whirler. Um, and if they answer the Hostage Taker and Chain Whirler again, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I like that a lot. Now that we have Contempt for Phoenix, we're not scared of that. Um, I think we're in good shape here. So they have Land Land, Angrath, Card, Card. And if they use a Kill Spell on the Hostage Taker, we just cast like Freebooter, take the Angrath. And maybe draw a land against Bugler too. Like Angrath doesn't really have any good plays here. Yeah, this is great. They have status. Oh, come on. Don't you do it. Oh, that's just gross. Alright. That is gross. <sighs> Can't even like we drew a land. We could play the leader this turn. Oh man, what a brutal, brutal beat. We're just taking so much damage. All right. I guess we just freebooter. Take six, then try to draw a land for Lyra. Right now we got you chained up, Angrath, so... Ugh. Opponent's top deck's too strong. Uh. Alright, now we're like... Oh, that was also a really, really good draw. It's a card we just like, can't really interact with. And if we play Thief now, we go to three, and they have a Theater of Horrors in play, which is not really a great place to be. If we can tempt a Chain Whirler, now we're just like, now we're just falling behind to the theater. The theater. Just like don't have any good plays here. This has been a pretty bad sequence of events the last these, these last two turns. All right, I think just drawing Lyra's or playing Lyra's our best chance to win. I'm just gonna say go and contempt one of these chain whirlers and just hope we draw a land for Lyra. Right, it's a land at least. If you're Phoenix, it sucks. We need them to, like, not draw a good card for a turn or two here. Alright, I can tolerate that. Alright. I mean, I guess we're off here. They ping us wrong with the theater. We're at five. Theater again is four. They top here are probably in trouble. But if we get to untap, we're probably fine. So we'll... 
pretty high variance game state we're in right now. Bottom good. We also just are dead to like a shock because they can just get angry at and kill us with the Lyra, but. Bottom, 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 bottom. Oh, yeah. That's one. Gonna fade one more. I can't look. That doesn't sound good. Oh, their map? Oh, God. So you're telling me there's a chance? All right. Uh... Yeah, let's attack. Gain five. We get to bugle and then probably thief. And we have such a house of cards built here with this freebooter. All right, bugler, what you got for me? Uh, I think Thief is better than another Bugler, because the Thief can, like, if they kill Lyra, at least the Thief can do some damage to it, so. We're not blocking this Chain Whirler anyway. Might just chump it, honestly, um, with the Bugler. They have so many looks here. I guess we're not dead to Angrath anymore, so we can just block with Thief, make some chumps if we have to. So our Lyra is looking pretty good. They topped. Uh oh. Oh, they topped the Phoenix into their Theater of Horrors pile. Bottom. Good, good. This is tense. Bottom. I can't look. I mean, they can play Phoenix. They can like Theater of Horrors us and then just cast it off the treasures. Ah, crap. Okay. So they can use the treasure and cast Angrath. Or they can steal Thief of Sanity. But then they just lose the Angrath, which isn't even that bad. They can steal a card from us, but it's not the end of the world. Like, this could be worse. So I don't think we block the chain world. Let me just take the five. I mean, like, the problem is if they hit, like, Hostage Taker here or something, we're in big trouble. So this has got to be a bad hit, hopefully. All right, they've been land, land. God, I hope it's a third land. Chupacabra's nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Chupski... And then just cast the boot ski. Let's, I guess we'll boot ski first, because we're gonna we're gonna shoot ski no matter what. I don't know what their hand could actually be, but oh, it's not, it's not in their hand. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, that's my that's my card. I don't like that. They they gotta have some way to more clearly differentiate the cards in hand between the cards that aren't in hand. I like they have like the when you have a card you can play from your graveyard. I like that they put it to the side like that. But it's gotta be like be more clear that this card is not actually in their hand. I look and I see a card in their hand. I should have known that, obviously, but it's fine. And we're, and we're casting the freebooter anyway, so. Alright. I think we kill Angrath. I want to keep this card in my hand and not take two, so.
We're going to pray the card they hit off my thief was not a hostage shaker. That will complicate things. Ritual of Soot. Alright, it's not even that good, so... Alright, they bought him. They have an infinite mana. Phoenix, Ritual of Soot. They are dead to Lyra. They're dead on board if all they can do is cast Phoenix. Which requires 8 mana to do. And they have 4, 8, and they have 11 mana, so... They have the card they took from us that they they've been land land, so it could just be like, like a third land. It could be, it could be, a, it could be a lot of things. Honestly, we all know from playing this deck that one thief of sanity hit is uh, often devastating. So we we'll just hope their one hit doesn't do us in. They, they are tanking pretty hard here, so I imagine if it was Hoss Taker, they would, they would have cast it and stolen the Lear already. So hopefully it's like a cast down or something or just something that's just not that good. Shock us. So they're going to shock us. Ritual of Soot, cast Phoenix. Alright. Okay. So now we have a lot of big draws. Um, they got more stuff to do? Oh, it was a Thief of Sanity. It's, it's not... Oh, Thought Erasure, no. Um, it's the problem... I, mean, I guess they've used all of their treasure. So, like, we're not even that like behind on cards anymore. All right, let's just cast this damn Euler and see what turns up. Hostage taker, please. Thank you. All right, and now... I guess we just say go. Any attack, it's blocked by Phoenix. We have our Lyra on defense. Dire Fleet, Daredevil? No! They can contempt us? That's bad. This is bad. Okay. Um, that was really, really good. So they can direfully contempt our Lyra attack. We can hostage take her or something, but we probably can't kill them anymore. Uh, that's bad. That was a really, really good draw. Or I guess theater of horrors draw. They have just enough mana to do it. Brutal. Just brutal. Land, land again. Yeah, I don't even know what we can draw anymore. Ugh. I mean, Immortal Sun's a good magic card, but I don't think it's good here. I mean, what a, what a tough game this has been. Thought Erasure not doing us any favors here. Yeah. I mean... We just have a, don't have a way through. We can hostage take her the Phoenix, but we can't cast it. We can attack with our bugler, but like we just can't. We just can't really overcome here. They still have our hostage taker card too, or whatever, or whatever card. We can just like scry with this, I guess. I don't know, let's scry. Spin it. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're just dead to the theater artist. Anyway, alright, we're just dead. Alright. Ah, tough one there. Tough one. Um, it's tough. Tough match. Ooh, we're, we're rich. Alright, two and two. I think that the, uh, the white matchup could definitely be improved with better sideboarding. And that red match, I don't know. I had some good draws there. Um... 
I think that that's a matchup that's usually in our favor. Uh, Siege Gang notwithstanding. Um, I don't know if this didn't work out. Dire Flow Daredevil is very good against us. That is that is definitely a, a real one. I can see playing like a... I guess Kai would be good in that matchup. Alright. Uh, this one's tough. No black mana. We have a good... We have a, a two drop and a Lyra. We have what? We have... 16 black, 17 black sources in our deck. 8 duels, 8 buddy lands, 1 swamp. 17 black sources is a lot. I'm gonna keep. It's a little risky, but... 17 black sources is a pretty high amount. Tight Taker's a good 2 drop. Alright, they are playing the Simic Nexus deck, which is really bad for us. Because Lyra and Cast Downs don't do much. The Tight Takers will be good. But this is not a good matchup for us. At least in game one. So we are... Um, yeah, we bugle. Because all of our Cast Downs are dead. Our Hoss Takers are dead. Chupacabras are dead. I don't know, just keep Tight Takering. I'll just draw a land next turn. Ideally, we draw a black land next turn. We could, we could Thought Erasure. We could definitely get this game going. Alright, no Reclamation's good. No land is good. They missed a land drop. And we drew a black source? Ooh, we're doing it. Forget everything I said. Life is great. Um, we're definitely... I don't think there's any card they can cast, but... We're definitely Thought Erasuring. Oh boy. They have Blink, Snare, Sabotage. Yeah, so this is an easy re reclamation here. I think we're in great shape. These Sabotages are worthless with all these Tithe Takers in play. God, Tithe Takers so good. Yeah, this is great for us. And then the land, I think, is almost unnecessary. I just want to draw another discard spell or something, or a counter spell. We have them dead in two turns. I mean, they have Root Snare and Blink, but... That's can't that. Freebooter's great, too. All right, sweet. I mean, they can't cast any spells, so they might have wanted to cast that blank on their turn. So give them the boot. Then we take the the root snare, and then we just play a tight figure, and they're just dead. All right, dead cards notwithstanding, this game's turning out great for us. Just gotta draw your good cards. There's triple Thalia in play for spells on our turn. I don't think that matters at all. Tight Taker, pretty good against the card Fog. That was sweet, and now I think we're in great shape as we, we, we get to board. Um, why are these cards highlighted? Alright, we have to board out like Lyra, Chupacabra. We're going to keep all our Hostage Takers in for their creatures, but we can take out some of our Removal, um, Mortify is great, Cast Down is not. We bring in our Duress, our Negates, uh, Mortify. I guess we're actually going to leave some of our stuff in our removal one. Um, they're obviously, they, they, they tend to bring in a lot of creatures because they're very, very tricky, you know. It's the real, uh, that's the real, the real, uh, the real gig today in Standard is, you play a creatureless deck and you board in creatures, oh, I got you. Um... I guess Deputy is actually okay. Because Deputy can hit search for Escanta and stuff like that and hit the creatures too. Um, so I don't mind Deputy. It's just not, it's not very good. Like it's not, it doesn't have very high power and stuff, but. Um, so we have Mortify, Mortify, Deputy, Deputy. We have Hostage. We have, we have eight removal spells. We have four counter spells. Six, ten discard spells. I think we're in pretty good shape here. We need one more card. I guess the just a third deputy. It's not great, but it's probably better than other stuff. We can find it with our buglers. It's fine. So puzzle four, I think we're in great shape because we now we get to bring in our our dresses and gates and stuff, and we still have answers to their creatures incidentally anyway. So thief sanity is also phenomenal against them. Yeah, this hand's insane. Ah, uh, it's uh, a, a, a thief. It's still really good, though. Duress, Thought Erasure. 
Right, they mulligan too. Sweet. Search for Escanta. They're playing red? Hmm. That's weird. Like there are there are versions of it like they play red, but they're usually more like they have more red lands, you know? Alright, so they have no spells in their hand. It's a nice thought erasure, I guess, for us. Well. That turned out good. Um, uh, we're not going to cast the Water Racer. It's not worth it. We need to gate first. Oh my god. Alright, we're running hot. We're running hot. Let's go. That's pretty good. It's a good, good start. Good start. Root Snare, Search for Escanta, Memorial Genius. Okay, we're clearly taking these Search for Escanta. There's a chance they could do some dirty stuff to us next turn if we take our shields down, but they have actual nothing at the moment. They have Memorial Genius, and that's it. And that's five mana, that's essentially six mana. Yeah, we're just going to play another Thief here. I think it's highly unlikely that things go bad for us this turn. And then we get to untap and just like go bananas with counter spells and search for Escanta and double triggers and so on and so forth. Okay. That's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Makes me very happy I cast the Thief, so. So they can. Okay. I mean, that's still fine. They don't have anything going on otherwise. Jade Light Ranger, sure. Land Root Snare. I mean, it's fine. What do you got for us? Crisis, land, land. Right. Probably not casting that Crisis ever, but we have two in our bin, and we definitely want to leave up. A counter spell because they're going to end step draw some cards. So I guess we're just playing search for Escanta. We're most certainly not going to die to the Shade Light Ranger, so I'm not really too worried about that. We need to make some land drops and keep a uh, keep playing stuff. So they draw two, which is fine. It stone rains them, which is good for us because they're a little behind on mana. We still have our negate. Mm. Root spiral. And we have these hostage takers, so like, we're not going to die to these Jade Light Rangers. Alright, so that's pretty good for them, but we're gonna counter that. Time walk's actually pretty good here, so. So they have creatures in play and they have cards to draw and so on. Alright, easy graveyard. Drew land, that's good. Uh, we have four in the bin now. Let's attack. Alright, it's hitting insights annoying because we basically just have to take it so that it doesn't, it doesn't go into their graveyard and we're probably never going to cast it, but it's fine. Um, we have four in the bin? Thought Erasure is 5 and 6, but, I mean, we're raising our shields down anyway. And, like, this one card is, like, I guess it could be something. Yeah, you know what? Let's Thought Erasure. We'll Thought Erasure and then Bugler. In which case, I want to Bugler first, I suppose. I think I'm going to bin the card almost... It, it, I'm going to bin almost anything because I want to just get the cards in my graveyard for Search for Escanta, but let's cast Bugler first just in case. Tithaker's pretty good. But I think I still want to cast the Auto Racer. Cool. Cool. Alright, so now our Search flips no matter what next turn. Sure. 
They play land. They can they can cast Nexus. All right, cool. All right, sweet. Matchup seems pretty cool for us. All right, so three two, and I think that the uh, the loss to white could definitely be improved better with a better sideboard, and the loss to red, you lose sometimes. You know, it happens. Ooh, got a card. Fell Spectre. There's a Fell Spectre on the wind. Um. So yeah, I think Fungal Infection is a huge one. Uh, oops, I don't want Priest of the Waking Sun, that's for sure. I think Fungal Infection is huge. Um, too many deputies. I wanted creatures on the board. Um, but there's just too many threes in the deck. I think that that first, that, that turn one and two are really, really important against the white decks. So you never want two Fungal Infection at least. Uh, funnel. So I want at least two of these in the board. Probably, probably put, take out take out two deputy, put in two fungal infections. Um, otherwise, yeah, the deck seems pretty sweet. Um, again, these demir cards are so good, and a lot of the trouble of the format has been finding a good home for them. Straight demir is not very good. Just slamming them into salt eye like is okay, but awkward. Um, Grixis doesn't really work. So finding a home for these, there was the Esper Hero deck playing Hero of Precinct One and these cards, but. I think Hero is just not a very good card, and it was playing a lot of bad cards trying to make Hero good. Whereas this deck's just playing all the good Demir cards, and then, you know, Chupacabra, Tithaker's great, Bugler's great. It was a solid deck. I like, I like this deck a lot. This deck is sweet. Um, got good tools against basically everything, and I would give it a try. Deck seems fun. Changes. I think Lyra might not be necessary. I think you want some sort of top end, and I think Lyra is a pretty good job, does a pretty good job of that. Um, it's good in your aggro matchups too, where I feel like you're like can be a little slow at times, so it's a good um a good catch up. I like the dispersals, honestly. They're a little weird, but I like them. I don't know that I change much, honestly. I'm pretty happy with this deck. So, deck sweet. Try it out for your next FNM or on arena if you're on the ladder grind. Give it a shot, and um, hope you enjoyed this video. Three two is fun. I'll take three two. You know. Four, 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 four and one with a better sideboard. So, thank you for watching so much. Check out CoolStuffInc.com. Of course, I do a video like this every Monday. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a written compendium to this video on the Cool Stuff site. Check that out, CoolStuffInc.com. I also have a written article every Friday as well. So, check that out too. And uh, I'll see you fine folks next week. Also, use my promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order at Cool Stuff as well. See you fine folks later. Have a good one. See you next Monday.